Hey everyone, Chad with Data Prep U again. Today we're going to take a look at the new way Alteryx licensing works. Now, I recently posted a video that went through the full installation and licensing process. The installation is relatively the same, so we're going to leave that as is right now. But we're going to focus more on that licensing method in this particular video. Let's take a look. Okay, so what you can see here is that I've got Alteryx installed and it does appear to be licensed, but if you pay attention, there's a nice little yellow ribbon here that says that I'm still on a trial version or a trial key. Now, the trial version of Alteryx is the full version of Alteryx, but it actually is only limited by time. Now, in order to increase that, obviously, you can go through and actually purchase a license. Now, when you do that, you will actually get an email from the sales rep that you've been working with that looks something like this. It says license to solve. It's gonna have a lot of, uh, of additional details about what you purchased. In this case, I have an Alteryx server. Uh, your desktop designer is gonna be the exact same experience. I can actually copy that particular key or that specific key and then you can click on options. Now, once you click on options, there is this option to say manage licenses. Now, once you do this, it's actually a relatively straightforward little splash screen that gives you a nice big button that says activate new license. And it also tells you the existing licenses and how much time you have left until they expire. Now, this is very important because even with activated licenses, this is the first step or the first spot that you can go to actually get more information about this. Now, from here, I can just click on activate new license. I can actually go in and paste my new license key here, and then uh, go ahead and hit enter. Now, once you hit enter, uh, the activate button will uh, highlight, so you can actually click on this. Now, you can also activate multiple licenses at one time. Now, where that's important is if you have an additional data license, for example. There are multiple different uh, enhancement or enrichment data packages that you can add onto your Alteryx instance. Now, in this particular case, if you do have those additional licenses, you just could, you, you can go in and uh, have them uh, lined out row by row in this one screen. Now you can also activate them individually. It's really up to you, it doesn't really matter. Um, once you do that, you click activate. This is gonna reach out and this is gonna double check and make sure that that is a valid license key. And then uh, it's going to pop up and actually say, okay, uh, your license has now been activated within Alteryx. Now, finally, it's gonna give you this activation success. Uh, your license has been activated. Click on Experience Alteryx, and now all of the keys are ready for you. You'll also notice that my little yellow ribbon at the top is gonna disappear here in just a second as soon as, uh, as soon as all of that licensing stuff goes away. Or I can also even just click on the Dismiss button on the right-hand side that will not pop up again unless you actually do have to go in and check that license. Okay, now one other option that you can actually leverage is if you go to gallery.alteryx.com. If you are the license owner, so you're the one that is tied to all of your company's licenses, you can actually log in here. I'll go ahead and quickly sign in. And then go to your admin section or your settings section. So as soon as I get to log in here, up in the top right hand side, that cog or that gear, you can click on here and then click settings you will have an option for designer licenses. So if you have designer licenses tied to your email, you will see them here. Now, what's really nice about this is if you are the license owner, you're gonna see all of the licenses for your specific company. So if let's say somebody leaves or somebody migrates roles and they need a different type of license or they fall under somebody else's realm, you can actually manually deactivate them yourself here just by clicking on the trash can icon or the, 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 uh, the trash or delete icon here. With that, that's relatively straightforward and that's pretty much it. So please let us know your, uh, your comments in the bottom if you do have any questions or issues. Of course, you can always reach out to support, uh, support at alterx.com. If you have other ideas of videos that you would like to see, please let us know in the comments. And then as always, if you did uh, enjoy what you saw, please like and subscribe to the channel. That helps us out tremendously. Thanks again so much. See you next time.